Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McGarrett and welcome to my channel and thank you everybody for being here and taking your time out of your day to spend time with me. So today as you can see I'm doing a Lazy Susan. Um, I'm not going to move it because it's as level as I'm going to get it. Um, this table that I'm on, I actually am on a cardboard box because it fit the table really nice. So it's not always level, I've always got a jerry rig level out of it. But I'm not too worried about perfectly level here because what's most important is where I'm laying laying it down to bed. There has to be perfectly level. So I've got a very simple color palette today. I want to see what's going to happen. now. I so what I'm going to try here is doing another open cup. It's my little open cup of choice, which basically is a little two ounce cup like I put my paints in, like this. Flipped upside down with the bottom cut out. So, yeah, all I've got here is um, Arteza's Pearl Space Gray with Amsterdam's Lamp Black. I've got a yellow here that is Amsterdam's Naples Yellow Light with Arteza's Pearl Golden Hour. Now this blue is Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza and Treasure Gold's Blue Quartz. I've got a white that's primarily Titanium White by Amsterdam, but it does have a little pearl white in it. And my Nicolazzo Gold with my Treasure Gold, my Fire Opal from Treasure Gold, and then my Gold Combination, which is 24 Karat by Deco Art and um, iridescent gold by Golden. I've got my strain scrap black here, which will be my extender paint. And let's just get started. Um, I don't mind if I have a little negative space this time, so I'm just gonna. I don't mind if I have some little. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't mind if I have negative space, is what I'm saying. And I don't mind starting a little off center because it's going to float around anyway. All right. I like to seal it up just a little bit around the edges. So as I begin layering and going through this, I'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding and skipping ahead just to save time because this does take a long time. It was about a 45 minute creation in the, in the beginning. So as I go filling the open cup, I'm going to go on four times the speed here. You can see what I'm doing and I will put on some music and also chime in as I go. But as you see, when the paint starts to flow out from under the cup into the white paint that I laid down to begin with, it starts to sell up and you really... For me, I really want to keep that, so I'm going to try to push that toward the middle. And as we go here, you'll see me moving the cup around in a swirling pattern, and it kind of gives you this really cool ripple effect in the final creation. Also, as I go through, I'll add some flow paint to give the composition a place to flow to. Also, you'll see me pouring from higher or lower, and higher is when I want it to churn together with the colors that are in the cup already, and lower is when I just want the colors to be next to each other. But for now, I'm just going to let the music play and I'll be back when I need to.
not clear the decks of a lot of paint still. Jeez, this is less than I can imagine. Less than I imagine. Get this to the sides. Then don't forget the torch. Get a torch. always amazes me at this point is when you look at that you're like oh god what is this going to become but you have to just give it a chance to stretch and spread and then the magic happens all right gentle spin gentle oh get it centered no that's worse Where's center? Mm, boy, I can't find center. That's not bad. So for me, I always want to find center before I start so I can have this composition spread as evenly to the edges at the same time as possible. So that's what I'm taking my extra time right here just to get this thing centered up where I want it to be before I start to spin. So for this first spin, I'm going to show you the full extent of it so you can see exactly the pacing and how long I let it go and give it a chance to spread. But as we go through, I'm going to cut back on some of the spinning. Sides pretty covered. Now it's just a matter of getting it to stretch out the way I want it to. Obviously, I want it to come this way a little more. I really don't want to move it. This is going to be the Nicolazzo show. Blue is often a less dense color and often will percolate to the top later in the game. And here I'm making a small adjustment on the spinner to get that black off. Get that black. Actually, now I'm centered. <laughs> and then I'll need to check how much, how much paint I have in the middle. Not sure I like the chattery look. It's chattered from where I was spinning the cup. I'll see how this goes. So I've cut out some spinning here and this is where you really have to be patient and just let it develop. I like that black, but I almost would rather have it be in the middle than on the side like it is. I need to get it off, some of it off at least. So I tilted some of the weight of the paint to that side and spinning it a little bit faster this time. Well, this one is quite different. I'm torn between cutting out the spinning and letting you see the whole thing because I really do let this run for a, at least a minute and just let it go. The white is like, like veins in there. It's really kind of interesting. It's probably a little too fast. I just want to get that black off a little bit. I don't want to lose that blue though if I can avoid it. I 
All right, let me let me give it a blow. I kind of like that black peeking through. Let's enhance that black a little bit. So after trying to blow it off, I end up enhancing it. Yeah, go figure. Let's do that a little bit more. Oh, this is really interesting. Let's bring some black through there. All right, shake the middle. One more little spin. I'll probably use, lose some of that black I just put on. Let's give it a torch while I'm doing this. spinning off so so through here I'm just gonna clean up the bottom and I'm gonna skip some I think I need a little black going straight through the middle so after I look this over about a minute I decided I'm gonna add some black through the middle and I'm gonna go on four times the speed here all I'm doing is adding just some small palette knife veining through the middle just to accentuate the black a little bit more. And I'll be back after some music. That's about it. I think it's really interesting. One more wipe of the bottoms. All right, I'm going to call this done. I'm going to do a little touch up here and there, and then I'll get you down for an overview. So everyone, here are the final resin results in the end. And you remember in the beginning where I talked about the blue being less dense? Well, it did finally percolate in little pearls or cells in the end, but I didn't get as much blue as I really wanted to here. But here you go, here are the final results. You can see where I kind of rotated that cup around as I was developing the composition, and it created these kind of weird, like shimmery effects in the composition. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you're new here and you enjoyed it, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. Also, a thumbs up would be nice, and leaving a comment saying hello would also be nice too, because I'd like to get to know everybody. At the end here, I'm going to show you some other Lazy Susan creations and link my Lazy Susan playlist so you can see other color combinations and creations. This is an open cup. I mostly do either swipes or blooms on these Lazy Susans, but I am willing to try other things as well because it's just so much fun. All right, everybody, that's all for now. Take care. Till next time.